So hi guys, this is Sherwin from CIIT. Today I'll be giving a quick tutorial on, in my opinion, um, one of the most useful features in Photoshop. So if you're a design student or a beginner in Photoshop, and let's say uh, you have this project that needs to be printed, Photoshop actually has this cool feature that allows you to see the actual print size in your computer screen before you even print it out. So for example, I have here a uh, business card project for the school. And I know for a fact that the standard size of a business card is actually 2 inches by 3.5 inches. So if you're to look into my um, canvas size, you will notice that um, I am actually set up for uh, 2 inches in the width and 3.5 inches for my height. Um, but if you notice, if I were to get the actual printout of the business card, like I had here, um, and put it on top of the file on my screen, it's obviously not the actual size. Um, this is 2.5 inches, but this is clearly much bigger in actual size. Now, wouldn't it be nice to be able to preview the actual size in Photoshop? So that, for example, you could check if your font sizes are too small to be readable, or if some of the details in the design would be too small in the actual printout. But before I move on further, I just want to clarify that actual print size is not exactly the same as um, 100%. If you look closely, this is 100% view for me in Photoshop, 100% view uh, zoomed in, but it's obviously not the same as the actual print size. Okay, so um, you will, uh, you will know, in order for Photoshop to do this, it will need what you call a, your screen resolution. Okay, you can check out your screen resolution under here, under Edit and then Preferences, and then you can click on Units and Rulers. You will notice here um, there's a field for uh, screen resolution. I have mine inputted, but sometimes let's just say a default value would be like 100. And um, depending on what the default value is yours, that's the number that we have to change. So first up, to get the screen resolution, you will need what's called a screen resolution calculator. You can find one for free just by searching in Google, but if you cannot find one, I'm going to use a website here that's also um, free, and you can just copy the URL in the About section in the video below. So uh, this is a, a free PPI calculator here, and you will notice that every screen resolution calculator needs three things from you. First is the horizontal pixels, then the vertical pixels, then the actual diagonal size of your laptop screen or your computer screen. So how do we get the horizontal pixels and the vertical pixels? You do this simply by going to the desktop of Windows, and you can right-click on any space and just select screen resolution. Here on my screen, the resolution tells me that I am set at 1920 by 1080. Okay? The 1920 here is my um, horizontal resolution, and 1080 is my vertical resolution. Again, this can be easily changed in Windows, so make sure that you get the number that you actually have set. Even if two people have the exact same screen or the exact same laptops, they can have different screen resolutions. Okay? So for me, I'm going to use 1920, uh, 1, 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to go back here to my calculator and type in 1920. And then for my vertical pixels, I will type in 1080. Next is for the diagonal size. The diagonal size actually refers to the physical actual um, screen size of your computer, but diagonally, okay? So for example, um, if you were to buy a 13-inch MacBook uh, laptop, that actually refers to 13 inches diagonal screen, or 15-inch MacBook, that would mean 15 inches, okay? Um, again, if, you're, if you've forgotten the actual diagonal size of your screen, you can just search for your uh, monitor, mon monitor model or your laptop model uh, via Google, and I'm sure you can find details on your screen, in your actual screen size. Uh, and if all else fails, you know, what you can do is just to get an actual ruler and just measure it diagonally, like so, okay? And then usually, um, almost all, at least, as far as I know, almost all laptop monitors are, um, almost all um, lap laptop monitors are using a um, screen size that it's, uh, you can round off to just one decimal place. So for example, mine is 16.4 inches diagonally, okay? So you can just type in your diagonal, um, diagonal 
size and then afterwards you just click on solve. Afterwards, the calculator will give you an answer for your PPI. PPI actually stands for pixels per inch and that's the, uh, that's the one that we need. All you have to do is to copy this number, okay? And then after copying, you just go back to Photoshop. When you go back to Photoshop, go again, click on edit, preferences, and then units and rulers. And then you just paste the number here under screen resolution. Like so, and then just make sure you have selected pixels per inch um, as your unit. And you just click OK. So the only thing you have to do next to utilize this feature is to click on view and select print size here. Okay? Um, I think you will notice that in your computer, you may not have a shortcut key assigned to it. Um, I did assign a shortcut key because I find it very useful, but you can definitely do so. Okay? Um, to assign a shortcut key, you can just search for instructions online again, or we can just feature another video next time. But if I were to select actual print size, you will notice that it shrinks. And to prove to you that it's actual print size, uh, I'm going to get the business card once again. And if I put it over the screen, you will notice that it actually perfectly fits what's on my screen. And so that tells you that that's actual print size. Okay. So uh, basically that's it. Um, if you like this video or if you found it useful, uh, please like the video or feel free to post comments and questions or clarifications if you have any. Also tell us if there are other tutorials you'd like us to post. Once again, this is Sherwin from CIIT and thanks for watching.